Hello and welcome back to Dalmatian Untouched channel. Uh, right now we are at my grandma's place. Uh, my plan for today was to visit my grandmother and to do the hiking tour around my village. And I didn't have a plan to film, but uh, surrounded with all these beauty, I decided that I'm going to make a short video and to show you uh, all the beauty in this village. Uh, why I'm doing this is because I just believe that this place deserves to be heard of and it deserves a lot more attention that it gets. Uh, we are now in the village, like village, it's actually a town but I call it a village, uh, called Verlika. So Verlika is a small town between two mountains, uh, Svilaya and Dinara. Dinara is actually the largest, the highest mountain in Croatia. Velika has only around 1500 uh, inhabitants. It's really cute and small and nice and peaceful town surrounded with the beautiful nature, a lot of monuments, uh, a lot of farms and all these nice kind of things. So uh, I actually decided I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just gonna show you what I saw on my way and I'll let you decide if this is the most beautiful village in Croatia. While you are watching this video, have in your mind that all the things that you see in the video are uh, located in the area of only 10 kilometers. So have that in mind because there are a lot of beautiful things. Also, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel because in the future we are going to have a lot more videos like this one. So subscribe, hit that little ring bell and don't miss out on another video. And thank you all for being here. Your support means a lot and thank you for watching this video. The number one reason to visit Vrlika is probably Prozor Fortress. This fortress was built in the 14th century with the aim of easier defense against the Turks. It also served them uh, for defense later on. Uh, the fortress can be reached by a car on a narrow road or by hiking through the woods which will take you about an hour. As you can see it is really well preserved and the entrance ticket is free of charge so that's a really good reason to visit it too Prozor actually means a window so you can imagine they named the fortress window because of a beautiful panoramic view of the entire region Reason number two to visit Vrlika is a Vrlička Česma. Uh, Česma means fountain. This place here was very important in the past of Vrlika. People came here to get a drinking water, but this place also had a very great social significance. Uh, locals would gather for socializing and dancing the popular Vrličko Kolo. It's a traditional dance from Vrlika and also many loves happened right here. There is also a statue of famous local poet Milan Begovic who wrote the opera Opera Ero uh, Sonoga Svieta, translated Ero from the other world. Uh, if you are a fan of opera, every year in mid-August the famous opera uh, Ero from the other world is held in this very place. I believe the entrance tickets costs around 5 euros.
following the river Cetina to, uh, to the next spot, we came across Valečkimo. It is a bridge and the historians believe that it was built by the Turks at the same time as a famous bridge in Mostar in neighboring Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are currently driving through the Suho Polje, which is a dry field. Many Croatian movies were filmed right here and in 1962 this place was pretending to be the American Wild West for the filming uh, of a movie about the famous Apache tribe. The movie was called uh, Vinetu. On our way, there is also a Stejak bridge. Uh, this bridge is very famous uh, because it was built out of tombstones from a Nerby cemetery near the Church of the Holy Salvation, which you will see in a few minutes. The reason number three for you to visit Perlika is the Church of Saint Salvation. Uh, this church was first mentioned in the 9th century and has stand proudly ever since. Its historical story is amazing, from the attacks of the Turks, uh, the First and Second World Wars, uh, the War of the Independence, uh, to the present day it has preserved its original form. Uh, the cemetery that surrounds this church uh, preserves the bones of Croatian and Serbian ancestors, so you will see uh, various monuments and crosses around this place. Only 500 meters from the Church of Saint Salvation, we come to our fourth reason to visit Velika, and that is the spring of the river Cetina. Probably one of the most beautiful places you are going to see in the whole Croatia is 150 meters deep, blue eye watching you from the depths of the earth. Uh, the perfect place for picnics, socializing with children, hiking and just enjoying peace of nature. In addition to this source, in the area there are many other smaller uh, sources and I believe you have already wished to go in search of them. And the last and my personal favorite pearl of this treasure chest, number 5, is Perucha Lake, a 15 km uh, long artificial lake. It is an ideal place for camping, barbecuing and simply chilling. The lake is surrounded by a beautiful beach that easily leaves you uh, breathless. This 64 meters deep lake is easily reached by car if you follow the well-marked path from the main road. Now when I told you all of this, I want you to remember that everything you just saw in this video is located in the area of only 10 kilometers. At the end, you tell me, is this a reason enough for you to visit this place?